Hello everyone, my name is Phil Rhombus and welcome back to some more Heavy Rain. Alright, so we're back with the FBI agent on this investigation for the killer. Um, last time we've uh, seen Sean, take, uh, well not really taken away, but um, our uh, son basically Do you think it's going to take gone. long? No, he should be finished soon. Let's patient. get the formalities out of the way so I can get back to some real work. God, I'm bored. I hate having nothing to do. I gotta see Captain Perry. Orders are orders. Gee, I hate internal politics bullshit. I could go <laughs> for a little Larry time right about now. Alright. What is Ari, though? Artificial remote intelligence, is that what it is? Oh! Really? Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool! That's funny. Oh my god. Wait, wait. Oh my. Oh, I wanted to see what. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> that cop. <laughs> I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Norman, I have to get that drill in my head. Norman. Jaden, of course, we've been expecting you. Yeah, you're not having a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no, it's fine. I just have to get to the press conference. We have them every day now. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. No, what the fuck? Have you met Dude. Lieutenant Blake Kepps? Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get them well together. Do you know how to tie a knot in a necktie? I guess. Oh. To be frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press are all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. Yeah, there are I hundreds would. of killers in this country, but what do you know? This guy is exotic. He leaves flowers and origami figures. Work that one out. Then the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. Yep. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it, it's none of my business. Wow, you seem uh, really like a dick. Of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress, and fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. Literally or, or figuratively? Hmm. Not bad. You're welcome. Oh, go see Charlie and she'll show you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. I'll do that. Welcome to the club, Jaden. And then I'll go to the press conference. Captain Perry is doing his press conference now. Might be interesting to have a look. I'm dying of thirst. Where's the water cooler when you need one? I should get Perry's assistant to show me my office. I can't wait to get to work. I'll have a look around the station. Stretch my legs for a bit. Jeremy Bulls was down this morning on a patch of wasteland in the East End at about 6.30 a.m. Five right. days after he was reported missing. An autopsy will be conducted tomorrow to determine the exact cause of death. But going from first indications, 
it would seem that he drowned. Wow, a lot of photos being taken. Found suggests the methodology of the origami killer. The investigation should confirm this in the coming days. The police are continuing to work around the clock to find the murderer as quickly as possible. I'll field some questions. Yes. You said the methodology indicated another victim for the origami killer. Can you be more specific? An origami figure was found in the victim's hand, and an orchid was placed on his chest. His face was covered with mud, but there were no visible traces of violence to the body. I... Go ahead. Uh, the Zodiac Killer was never identified. Perhaps the origami killer will never be found either. Well, okay, wait. Zodiac Killer? Hang on, hang on. So... The origami killer kind of feels like um, he feels sympathy towards his victims because, well, let's let's just see a reason why. Why would he kill the victim and then place an orchid on his chest and cover his face with mud? The mud kind of feels like it's um, the way of respect of not being able to see the person's fa like dead face. The respect of you know not seeing the the dead the death of expression and the orchid of paying your respects why would he do that and second of all zodiac killer what the fuck are you talking about i don't think there's much chance of that for the moment the killer may think he's invulnerable but in the end he'll make a mistake and we'll be there to arrest him Yes. Did the killer leave any written evidence? Perhaps a ransom note explaining his actions? Or anything like that? No. Uh, he has not made contact in any way, and we have only the murders to help us understand his motives. Yes. What's the question? Some people are saying that the police were slow to take an interest in these murders because the victims lived in poorer parts of the city. What do you say to that? That's absurd. The police make no distinctions between victims based on their social class. It is true that the origami killer seems to choose his victims from the more impoverished parts of town. The higher crime rate in these areas makes the investigation well, more difficult. That's where Ethan's body living. Yes. There are rumors that the FBI has sent a profiler to help with the investigation. Is that true? You seem to be well informed. Yes, we asked the FBI to send us a profiler to help us with this investigation. We were planning to announce this in the next few days, but it seems that won't be necessary. According to certain sources, the town hall has been applying pressure to avoid any mention of a serial killer in order not to have an adverse effect on the mayor's election campaign. Do you have anything to say about that? Pure speculation. At no time has the mayor been involved in this investigation. Except to support the efforts of the police force, of course. Thank okay. you for your cooperation. One question, please, sir. One last question. Captain Perry, one more question, please. All right. I saw Blake when I arrived. Maybe I should go talk to him. Case's front page news in all the papers. It's not going to be easy investigating a crime under the glare of all this publicity. Yeah. This investigation is starting to give me the creeps. Yeah. Get a hold of yourself, man. Strange character, Captain Perry. Seems to be more interested in meeting the press than investigating the crime. Alright. Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Yeah. Congratulate Larry on my behalf. I'll be sure <laughs> to do that, sir. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. All right. <laughs> please police don't let it be the closet. That'd be funny. 
Oh, it's very... This, this is my office? That's where I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Huh. <laughs> this is like shit. All right. Well. Okay. Time to work. No time to lose. Got to get down to work. First, analyze the case files. Wow. More like a big cupboard. Well, I wanted a quiet place to work, and it certainly looks like I got it. Okay. Well, all right. The files. Okay, why did you do that? Uh, are you? What are you doing? Okay. All right. So, is this how we're going to do it? Step one. Change the office. Um What is that? Oh, I saw something else over here. What is that? Wait, is that space? Yes. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Nah. What's this? Oh, that's cool. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. No, no, no. What's this over here? <laughs> oh, my. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Really? Okay, so what's this? Meh, I like... Alright, I like this. Okay, so clues. Wow, okay. Model, alright. The killer's car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. Common species. That doesn't help much. Yeah. The orchid is a common species. It can be found at any flower shop. True. Wow. Okay. All right. So this is a cool way to do this. Uh, files. What? Wow. Okay, so let's look at the victims. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys, aged between nine and 13. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. Bodies are found three to five days later. Drowned. In rainwater. What? Really? Okay. Killer 
has a large comfort zone. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Hmm, this won't make the geo profiling any easier. Yeah. Okay. Wait. What do you mean? Oh! Oh, we missed out on that. There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. Huh. Okay. Open. Always the same ritual. An origami in the hand. An orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found. Which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Over 3,500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. Ah. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Huh. You know, and not analyze. Okay. Well, um, guess clear. Map. Well, okay, I guess I gotta hold it down. Alright, so that's the area. Alright. Okay. You alright there? Oh no. Yo! Here we go again. I better go wash my face. Oh, shit! I need to take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. It's alright. I know I can make it. I know! I know I can make it! What? Wait, huh? Oh! I didn't mean to do that! Take a trip to what? <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Um. Is that? This oh, is it is. Blake, Mr. Marsh. Would you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while, and then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses, and when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. It must have been about... Um, five thirty, I think. I'm not really sure. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He was wearing a coat. Uh, uh um, beige. A beige coat. And a pair of pants. That was also beige. Beige pants. How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? Can't remember. I... I can't remember exactly. It all happened so fast. You say you took your son to the park after school. 
But you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? Blackout. I searched the whole neighborhood for him. I, I thought he couldn't have gone far. All right. That's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Do... Do you think the origami killer... Listen, your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple of hours. I hope so. But what if it is the origami killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. Oh, shit. That ain't good. Who is this? Did they find something? Oh. No, nothing yet, but they're gonna keep looking through the night. Do they... do they think it's the origami killer? I think it's the origami killer. What the hell are you talking about? It, it, it's still too early to say. But it is a possibility. Oh no. What happened, Ethan? How could you lose Sean like that? You should never have taken your eyes off him. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? I blacked Why out. Why did you leave woman. him, Ethan? Why? Wasn't it enough losing Jason? I'm sorry. That's not what I meant to say. Missing a child, reporting it really, really late. Only got four days to find him. Unfold the movements. Oh, back to Detective Shelby. A lot of people are working on this case. Tuesday, 9:52 p.m. All right. Good evening. Good evening to you, sir. I'm Russian. Can I help you, sir? Well, I hope so. My name's Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Um, I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I I'd like to ask you a few questions. My son is dead, Mr. Shelby. I have nothing more to say. The killer has kidnapped another victim, a 10-year-old boy. Like your son, Risa, I have four days before we find his body on a deserted stretch of wasteland. No one did anything to save my son. Now, you would please to move along, sir. Please. I also lost someone I loved. I know what you're feeling. Then you will understand that I do not wish to talk about it. All right, fine. Oh, do you sell inhalers? I'm all out, and at least I won't go away completely empty-handed. In the back of this door, to the right. Thanks. Oh. Goddamn asthma. Can't breathe when it rains. Pity he didn't want to talk. Might have known something. Good evening, sir. Uh, Are you looking for something in particular? All of those chips. Give me what you got in the register. Don't fucking try anything. Open the register, you dumb fuck. Put the money on the counter. 
Shit, are you deaf or what? Are you gonna open that fucking register or not? No, sir. You do not have the right to steal that money from me. I have worked very hard to earn it. You cannot have it. What did you say? Shit! Come here! I said come here now! Don't move! Hands up! Put your fucking hands up or I'll shoot! Look, it's not worth it. Put the gun down and just walk away. You giving me advice? I'll give you some fucking advice! My name's Scott. What about you? What's your name? Andrew. My name's Andrew. Don't panic. Let's just stay calm. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Uh, we're all just gonna be cool, and everything will be all right. Yeah. yeah. I'm cool, man. Everything's gonna be all fucking right. So what are you gonna do? Someone could walk in the store any minute and sound the alarm. You haven't got a chance of getting out of this. The first guy to walk in here gets it right in the face. Fuck it, man, you're making me nervous. And when I'm nervous, there's no knowing what I'll do. Go! Now, I want you to put the gun back in your pocket and quietly walk out of the store. My friend and I will forget about what just happened, and you'll have earned a second chance not to fuck up your life. What do you say? Nice try. For a second there, you almost had me believing all your shit. And now... Come on! Wow. Thousand thank you, sir. I don't know what would have happened if you had not been well, here. At least I didn't come by for nothing. Have a nice day. When my boy, Razor, disappeared, I received a letter with a locker ticket inside. Inside the locker, I found this box. I do not understand what it means. But I think it must be a sort of message from the man who took my son from me. Can I? Huh. Please, take the box if it can be of any use to you at all. It did not help me to save Reza. Maybe it will help you find the other little boy. <gasps> oh! Mr. Shelby. I was beginning to think that there was no good to be found in this place. I can see now that I was wrong. Yeah, you might want to go and get that gun. Huh. So this, everything's getting really, really interesting. Uh, who am I playing as now? Is it, um, Nathan's wife? Or, no, it's the, um, this chick. Wow. Or is it? Is it? No, it's not. Hi! How you doing? No, it, it is like Nathan's wife. It has to be. I don't know. Let's say like three. 
I don't know. I haven't had like launches like that in a while. 2.47 a.m. Always the same time. Really? Goddamn insomnia. I'm totally exhausted, but I just can't sleep. A hot drink is what I need. A hot shower. That'll create the magic of sleep. I shouldn't take those damn pills again. I really need sleep. How hard can it be to fall asleep? I don't know. Uh, is someone in here? If I try to stay busy, it might actually help me get to sleep. Maybe I'll go to bed and give the sleep thing one more shot. Is someone actually in the fucking apartment? That's what I'm wondering. I can't tell. I don't know. Well, there is a pole right there, so... I, I don't... Uh... Huh. It is... It, this is Detroit, right? Why does everything bad guy happen in Detroit? <laughs> Detroit become human. You don't have to have a war. Robots die. Uh, actually, I want to go sleep. Sleep. Just sleep. There. Come on, you can go sleep. Fuck was that? Um, lady, be careful. I don't want you to die. I don't even know your name. Was there something that fell? Okay, now you're drunk, and I feel like I'm going to get you killed. Please don't die. Is this the bathroom? What what in the world am I doing? No, this is the bathroom. 
pretty big bathroom for just one person. Oh my god. Okay. Um... Yeah, I don't like the eerie, you know, silence. What the fuck? Um... Someone is definitely here. What the fuck? Oh god, no. There's someone here. There's someone in the apartment. The phone on the desk. I could call for help. The front door. It's the only way out. If I can reach it, I still have a chance. Oh, come on! Ah! This dude! What the fuck? There's two of them? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god Get the hell out of here woman Okay, do you have anything in here? Oh my god! What the fuck? Oh my god! Oh my god, it scared the shit out of me! <laughs> is racing oh gosh I haven't locked a new voice oh no Nathan oh no I'm scared now what's gonna happen like because that's kind of foreshadowing like someone could die oh my god no I don't want that 
Uh, sadly, I'm with the end it right here. Oh, it's Wednesday. Uh, no, the press. All right. I'm gonna end it up right here. Thank you guys for watching. Oh my God, my heart is beating. Oh, that was so insane. Oh, and that's gonna suck if I have to press two buttons at the same time. Because it's going to get jumbled and I won't be able to fucking tell. <laughs> My mind's going to be racing. And, okay, for some odd reason, the fucking thing didn't read, like, register the fucking uh, analog stick. So I don't know what was going on there. But my god, I was so scared. <laughs> uh. Alright. Uh, uh, hopefully nothing bad happens next time. Because... Damn, that was so intense. I'm going to leave it off, though. I'm, enough talking. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video with family and friends. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, everyone.